Hi there, I'm Heidi and welcome to my home and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you are here and if you are back, yes, I am still around. It has been a hot second since the last time I filmed a video. That's because with things opening back up, it's been hard for me to kind of find my groove getting back into the studio and sticking with these videos. But I haven't gone away. I'm back for more and today we are going to do a sun's out, guns out upper body workout using just your motor arm. So stick with me, it's going to be fun. I'm going to do a couple housekeeping tips for you. If you are familiar with the motor arm and how the adjustments work, you can just click forward into the workout. But for those of you who are learning about the motor arm, I want to go through some things. So with your motor arm, you're going to see two buttons on the side of your motor. Yes. I want to encourage you to go heavy today. So that means if I say six pounds, you're going to push one button in so that you have a gray and white on one side and just gray on the other. If we go nine pounds, baby, you're going to push both buttons in. Okay. So anytime you change your resistance, always make sure that that strap is all the way inside that avocado before you change. Yeah. So I encourage you go heavy today. This is upper body only. All right, let's do this. Welcome to my channel. All right, let's get started. Do a couple shoulder rolls, rolling the shoulders back, just kind of loosening up the shoulder joint. It's just upper body. So as I was saying in the housekeeping rules, if you can go heavy, I encourage you to go heavy. Switch that, reverse the circles going forward. Yes. So it's just upper body. So if you can do more, I want you to push yourself. Do more if possible, right? We want to show everyone those guns this summer, yeah? Take the arms out to a T. Let's cross one arm over, just stretching the front of that shoulder. Drop the shoulder down, just getting a nice little stretch. And then we switch, cross it over, stretching that shoulder. And then taking that arm overhead, just a quick stretch through the shoulders, the upper body here a little bit. Do a little side bend if you want. And then other side here, a little stretch through the triceps, side bend. Good, let the arms go, just shake it out. And I want you to actually swing the arms. Yeah, just waking up the back body, waking up the shoulders, stretching the pecs and chest. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get this started, yeah? So if you notice my motor arm is laying on its side, the two avocados, that's what I call them, are laying on their sides as well. I'm at a resistance of three pounds because we're gonna start with rear flies unilaterally, yes, yeah? so single side, back of the shoulder. So you usually go a little lighter on that. If you wanna go heavier, push a button in, you get six pounds, yes? So I'm going to start by placing my inside foot on the motor arm, slightly forward of my standing leg. Then from here, I'm going to pitch my hips forward so my back is flat, parallel to the floor, and I'm going to grab that strap here. Right here, we want that arm to float straight out to that T position from the back of the shoulder and bring it back down. So we're pulling. This is your rear fly here. You want to make sure you're not pulling through the elbow, but literally using that rear deltoid to create that action here. Let's do five more, just like that. Making sure the, the arm goes right out in line with the shoulder. If you go any further down, you're going to get more back and less deltoid. Let's do two more, just like that. One more. Now, bring it all the way in, push a button in so you're at six pounds. You're going to reach through the strap, grab the handle right here. We're going to stay right here in this position, and then you're going to draw the elbow back and return. So, still working into the back of the shoulder, maybe targeting a little bit more upper back as well. Yes. Who doesn't like a strong back? Yes. Let's do five more. 
exhale. Last four. And three. Usually I like to start with the weaker muscle first. Last one. Good. And let it go. I'm going to pop that button out before I forget. And then I'm going to turn around. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Step on the motor arm. Anchor it to the floor. Grab that strap. Here we go. Rear fly here. Open and close. So keeping just a soft elbow bend here. Nothing crazy. Don't hyperextend the elbow. That's a no-no, right? Keep that work in the back of that shoulder. We have four more. I'm trying to keep it at 10. I'm a bad counter if you already know this. <laughs> You've done a few of my videos already. One more. Hold right here. We're going to reach through, grab the strap, push the button in so we're at six pounds, and we're going to draw that elbow up and back. Pull it up. Yes. Feel that work. Squaring off the body, keeping everything square, isolating the back of that shoulder. I think we have three more. Last two. Final one. Nice. And hold. And you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to stay at six pounds, okay? I'm going to push that other button in. And then what I want you to do is step onto your motor arm. So heels are on, yes? Go ahead and grab your straps. Cross the straps one time, okay? We're here. Coming up. Roll the shoulders back. We're going to do a nice little up right row. From here, elbows pull up to the side. We bring it down. Now, ideally, you want the elbows even, right? I tend to lead with my left elbow a little bit higher, right? So just thinking about working through that medial deltoid now. Yes, yeah, so we're going right into the middle of that shoulder. We have four more and three. Last two. One more. Good. Pause. Uncross the straps. Right here. We're staying right here for a moment. Taking the arms out in front. Front shoulder, right? Anterior deltoid. Ooh, it's a little heavier. Reach. So when the arms are long and they're reaching away from the proximal point of your body, right? The center point of your body. It makes it a little harder, which is why we usually go lighter on shoulder day because the weight is at the end of that limb, so it makes it a lot heavier. Three more. Last two. One more. Good. And pause. Nice. Now, from here, you could probably see my uh, microphone. I don't care. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> so we're here. We're going to roll the shoulders back. We're going to do a little bit of bicep curls, right? The workout's called sun's out, gun's out, so let's do it. Here are your guns. We're going to just keep those elbows close by the rib cage. Bicep curl. We're at six pounds. If you want to go heavier and push another button in, more power to you. We're going to be here a little bit though. Yes. Here we go. Four more here. And three. Last two, last one. Now take it open to the side. Yes, so we're working different portions of that bicep, yes? My husband calls it different heads of the bicep. Now we have five more. And four, three, last two, last one. What if we put them together? They can work as separate entities. One arm forward, the opposite arm to the side. And switch. It's like we're dancing. And switch. And switch. Good. Your biceps should be feeling this now. You might have already lightened the load. Or maybe you're like, Heidi, I can do more. Add more, right? We have four more. Three. We're not going to stop yet. Last two, last one. What if we cross now, do a little hammer curl across the midline? So over the belly, over the belly, yes? So working all the way through those biceps. Yes, we got it. I'm already sweating here. Who wears their hair down when they work out? Me. Here we go. Last four. I don't really, I usually pull it all back. Three, 
last two, woo, one more, and pause, okay. So from here, we're gonna go into an overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna attempt to stay at six pounds. I'm gonna float my arms overhead. Make sure my heels are anchored to that motor arm. I'm gonna take my pinky, sorry, my thumb and my pointer finger together. I'm gonna create a diamond. I'm just gonna bend my elbows and extend, bend, extend, yes. So as we're doing this, all the things pulling down on the ribs. Just careful that you're not here, right? Not cute. Pull it all in. We have five, four, three, last two, one more. Good, and bring it all the way down. Pausing there. Okay, let's change it up, shall we? So, I'm gonna take the motor arm in front. Now, right now, I want you to be in a resistance of nine pounds, mm-hmm. So, it won't really feel that heavy if you think about the movement. So, we're gonna stay on nine pounds, and then I would like you to step into your straps here, okay? And then pick up that motor arm. Now, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. And then from here, so I'm standing in parallel, I'm gonna pitch my hips forward, flat back forward, yes? Yeah? Similar to where we started before, okay? From here, we're gonna take the elbows straight up and back, bring the motor arm to your chest. It's very small, so it doesn't feel that heavy, right? Because you're pretty close to the feet with that motor arm. Good, pulling it back. We're gonna do 15 here, yes? We have 10 and nine, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, Woo. four, we have three, last two, one more. Now, stand on up. I'm gonna encourage you here to keep that resistance, okay? Palms are gonna stay facing down, elbows by the ribs, right here, bicep curl. Oh yes, it's squeaky, sorry friends, I haven't fixed it yet. So, our grip is down, right? A pronated grip of that wrist. Up and down. Ignore the squealing. <laughs> my, I haven't fixed my avocado yet. Up and down. We have six. We have five. How are those biceps? Four. Three, we're almost done, then the squeaking will stop. Two, hold it up on one, hold it here. Press the arms overhead, hold. Slide the hands apart as wide as they will go. Shoulder press. We're gonna bring that motor arm just to the chest. Push it up, down. Should be heavy, friends. We're at nine pounds right now. If you can't do that nine pounds, if it's too much, right? Listen to your body. Level it down, yeah? You can push one button out, push both buttons out. Here we go, woo! Last three, we're not done. Two, it's your big finisher. One, hold it here. Can you take it behind the head and press? Behind the head, press. Getting into those shoulders. Everyone likes nice, strong shoulders, yes? We have six, oh my goodness. Five, feel the burn. Four, three, Last two, one more, hold it up. Ooh, can you alternate to the chest? Bring it up, behind the head, bring it up. We have four more, switch. We have three, I'm dying, switch. We have two, switch, holy cow, last one. Ugh. Switch, bring it down, ah, oh, roll those shoulders back. Take a moment, we're gonna level it down one notch. Here we go, ah, oh, here we go, last portion, yes. Get your hands a little more narrow, 
on your motor arm. Stand on up. A little bit more tricep work here, okay? From here, we're gonna change it up just a smidge from what we were doing before. Bring the arm to your chest, push it overhead. Now, keep your upper arm where it is. Try to get them kind of behind the ears. And we're gonna bend the elbow, bring the arm behind the head, push it up. Behind the head, push it up. Back and up. You have seven, you're almost done. Six, I know you feel your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down. Woo, yes. How was that? Short, sweet, and to the point, right? How do you feel? Do you feel buff? Look at those guns. <laughs> Take a second here. I'm gonna have you flip your wrist towards me. Yes, palm up. We're just gonna stretch. So you're stretching through your bicep. Yes. And then switching. Flip it down. Pull. Same thing here on the other side. Pulling the wrist, just stretching through that bicep. And then flip it, other direction. Good, kind of ending the way we started here, open, stretching the shoulder. Yes, so while we're stretching here, I'm gonna tell you some fun things I have coming up. So, I know I did a TerraGlide video earlier. I'm gonna bring you a workout using the TerraGlide. And we're gonna continue, sun's out, buns out, with a glute workout on the motor so that's going to be great keep your eyes peeled for that and then switch arms Woo. take it down big shoulder roll back thank you so much for joining me you are awesome if you have any comments questions don't hesitate to comment below reach out to me and i'll see you again real soon Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>